tops. Hello boys and girls, it's so lovely to see you again, isn't it Larry? Isn't it Doris? Lovely to see the boys and girls there. Sue, Larry, Doris, what is that? I mean, who is that? Joe, everyone knows who that is. That's Goliath. He's a soldier and a giant. Well, what is he doing here? Looking so big and scary. Shall we ask Mr. Bible if he's got some mm. words to help us? I think that might be helpful today, Sue. Mm -hmm. God will help me. Mm. Well, do you remember last week we found out about a boy who became a king and who wrote poems and loved God? Yes, I do, Sue. And it was David, the shepherd boy. That's right. Now, David gets a little bit older, not a lot, but just a little bit. And mm. God's people had some very scary enemies. And the worst of the lot were the Philistines. And Goliath was a Philistine. And he was a giant. And everybody was scared to fight him. So even David's brothers, they were too frightened to fight Goliath. Goliath would shout at them and he would say, your God cannot save you. But God had a plan and he would send somebody to save him. Wow, Sue, that's great. But who could face such a big, scary giant and not be afraid? Well, Joe, it was David the shepherd boy. David. Little David. He would come to the army front line and he would bring his brothers who were grown up soldiers and warriors uh, and he would bring them their lunches. And then he saw Goliath and he saw how everybody was scared of him and nobody would fight him. So David said, don't be afraid, I will fight for you. Well, the king saw that he was just a little boy. How would he fight Goliath? But David answered, God will help me. David didn't want the armour, the swords and the helmets that uh, Saul had given for him. They were far too big and heavy. But instead he went and collected five pebbles from the stream. And he walked towards the giant Goliath who laughed at him because he was so small. I may be little, but my God is a great big God and he always wins his battles. So David used his sling and the pebble hit Goliath right in the middle of his forehead. And down Goliath fell dead. So the little boy David defeated the army because he knew that God was with him. God gave him the strength to fight the battle and David totally trusted God. Wow, do you know boys and girls that is such a great story and I think we need to remember that David spent a lot of time chatting to God and listening to God and he knew that God would always help him. So that was what he needed. God, he knew he would be there for him and God was there for him, boys and girls. Mr. Bible, could you remind us again of those very special words? God will help me. And we've seen that, haven't we? God did help him. Now, why don't we watch this little film, which is a song about the story of David and Goliath.
David was a kid, watching sheep was what he did, and he did it very well every day. He kept the sheep safe and sound when the lions were around, and he kept the wolves at bay. And then along came a day, all the people were afraid of a Philistine army coming round. They had a giant on their team, very hairy, very mean, and every day he called them out. He said, you're weak and you're chicken and you're scared, boop! For the next 40 days he dared Every day he would call for the best But nobody thought they were up to the test Cause he was bigger than the biggest And taller than the tallest And badder than the baddest of them all He was rougher than the roughest And tougher than the toughest David had a friend in God Who told him Get a rock, take a shot Buffer than the buffest and better than the best of them all. So with a stone in his slingshot, David hit the right spot and boom, the giant went down. One rock, one shot, one giant's gonna drop. You can take him down if you have to. One rock, one shot, one giant's gonna drop. All you ever have to do is ask him. What's the little God was on his side and so he knew he'd be okay, okay. New Goliath was a giant opposition, but he took him down anyway. Nothing high, nothing wide, nothing any shape or size can stop him. Nothing big, nothing tall, nothing any size at all can keep him down. He's a whole lot bigger than your mind. Now it's ready. Maisie has been making today. Hello Trinity Tots, my name is Maisie and today we have been learning all about David and Goliath. So today we are going to be making our very own bag of stones. Let's get started. So to make our bags of stone we are going to need some things to decorate our bags with. For this craft I'm going to be using pencil cranes but you can use whatever you would like at home. Some white plain card, a glue stick, some scissors, a hole punch, a black marker pen, some tin foil, and some ribbon or thread. Let's see what our first step is. First thing we are going to do is we're going to take our A4 card and we are going to draw a bag template that we can use to make our craft. You can find these on the internet or you can draw your very own. Fantastic boys and girls, now it's time to decorate our bag. You can use whatever you would like at home for this. Fantastic boys and girls, well done. So now it's time to cut out our bag with some scissors. You may need a grown-up's help for this bit. 
fantastic boys and girls really really well done so now it's time to make our stones to go into the bag so for this bit what we're going to do is you might need grown up's help for this bit we're going to take our aluminium and cut out a small rough blob or circular shape you'll have something that looks like this then what you're going to do is scrunch it up and gently unfold it and this way you get a really nice crinkled stone effect like this fantastic boys and girls now we're going to stick in our stones using some print stick you may need a grown-up top for this bit fantastic boys and girls really well done so now what we're going to do you may need a grown-up's help for this bit so we're going to take a hole punch and punch some holes in at the top so we can thread our ribbon through fantastic boys and girls really well done so now we're at our last step all we're going to do is thread through our ribbon at the top you may need a grown-up's help for that bit and we've done it boys and girls we have made our very own bags of stone i had so much fun getting to make crafty bee today and i can't wait to see you all soon bye thank you Maisie. that looked like a great bag of stones to make why don't you have a go at home boys and girls i think now is the time for us to do a little song together let's sing i will follow you of your special words. God will help me. So let's pray together boys and girls, pray, close our eyes. Thank you Jesus that we can chat with you at any time and we know that you will always help us. Amen. Amen. And finally Sue, we have a birthday Yay. this week. Let's get our hats. Let's get our birthday hats. Where are they? Here we go. Oh, oh, lovely. And we'd love to say a big happy birthday <laughs> to Harry Highland. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Harry. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.